Roman, what are you doing? You can't punch a horse. I'm gonna pound this guy into glue. <laughs> What's up everybody, Jared here with another art housey movie review. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to stay up to date on this channel's newest reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. So yeah, like I said, I went out and saw the new indie film, The Mustang. A violent convict is given a chance to participate in a rehabilitation program centered around the training of wild Mustangs. So does The Mustang have some awards potential? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of the Mustang in the comments down below. Was this everything you wanted from this more intimate story or does this just drag on? Now let's get into some of the good. So right off the bat, the Mustang is very much this art housey kind of smaller indie film. And you know, this isn't gonna really hit with general audiences, you know, it doesn't have these big action set pieces, it doesn't have all of this crazy, you know, special effects, but definitely go out and treat yourself to this one. The Mustang is the first feature length film from, I'm probably gonna butcher this name, Lori de Clement, Lore de Clement Torinin. Think. And her knack for piecing together this intimate story, all of these kind of sprawling landscape shots, also kind of isolating these just one character shots, like this is a very, like what she did with this movie was a very powerful thing. From the opening setup to the framing of these wild horses, it's beautifully shot from beginning to end, and I really hope that this movie, since this movie maybe gets some good, you know, reviews and buzz and whatnot, she gets more of a shot when there's future projects that come up. But I gotta say that the standout for me was the performance from Matthias Klamarant, I think that might be pronounced. He plays Roman Coleman. He's an inmate in a maximum security prison, you know, he has this troubled past, he has aggression problems, he likes to kind of be isolated. And what he does with this character, again, is so powerful. You can see that this character is very much reserved, he doesn't say many lines but just from the looks his mannerisms just everything about his character what Matthias puts into this character you can exactly see the pain that he's feeling currently the 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 apologetic feeling that he has for his past and just uh, he wants to get better and as the story continues and he gets his own horse to kind of train he opens up he begins to kind of socialize more he becomes more of a person and you can see how he's kind of changed in a weird roundabout way at the end of this movie. Again, this guy, I don't know what other films he's been in, but definitely I hope he gets a great notice from this because he is by far the standout. And the relationship that Roman has with his horse Marcus, no, he doesn't f the horse, is something that made the Mustang so special and the meaning behind it. Each are wild contained, very much distance themselves from humans and are hard to break in. But as the story progresses, as Roman is able to kind of train this horse, you can see that both of them kind of open up to each other. Roman begins to trust the horse more, the people around him kind of socializes and has a smile on his face. And then Marcus kind of follows Roman around a little bit, allows him to ride them. And you know, he is, by the end of this, he is kind of a broken in trained horse. And this duality between Roman and his horse Marcus and kind of how they progress in their relationship is also translated into other relationships in Roman's life. For example, his daughter comes and visits a handful of times, maybe three, a few times. And the first time he is reserved, aggressive, he doesn't want to see her. The next time he's a little bit more open. And then the final time he's apologetic, he, he's, he's almost loving. And the way that everything turns out in the end isn't in a cheesy light. The way that Marcus ends up, the way that Roman, you know, it, it very much makes sense. I'll also give a nod to Jason Mitchell and Bruce Dern, each of them coming having this lighthearted but strict mentorship for the Roman character, and you can see how this really reflects on Roman when he finally is able to break in Marcus. I absolutely love the Mustang, but there was one sort of prison subplot that was running through part of the movie. I mean, it kind of broke up the training, the therapy, just the kind of intimate relationships with uh, Roman and Marcus, but the thing is, it didn't fully land. It kind of just felt like it was added in after the fact, um, 
yeah, it, it takes a little bit away from the movie, but doesn't entirely ruin it. Overall, The Mustang is this wonderful and intimate story of one man's struggles. With solid direction, beautiful shots, outstanding performances, and powerful relationships. But with a subplot that doesn't entirely land, I would highly recommend checking out The Mustang. I know it's early on in the year, but this lands in my top two for the year. In closing, I'm going to give The Mustang 4.8 out of 5 wild Mustangs. So what did you guys think of The Mustang? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos over there, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, fun comedy skits. There should be a new JB classic for Pet Cemetery coming out in the next couple days. Stay tuned for that. Follow all of my social media stuff down there. Click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Stay up to date on this, all of the videos, all of that stuff. Until next time, I'll see you later.